हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास सो इन दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लार्न अबाउट द एस्टिमेटिंग सम एस्टिमेटिंग सम दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू एस्टिमेट द टोटल वैल्यू टू इट्स नियरेस्ट टेन्स और नियरेस्ट थाउजेंड्स और नियरेस्ट हंड्रेड्स एस्टिमेट मीन्स यू हैव टू गेज द सम यू हैव टू find the guessing total value so now i will tell you how can you estimate the sum how can you estimate the sum of some numbers how can you find the total value and how can you estimate that total value to the nearest tens or nearest thousands or nearest hundreds so in your previous class you have already learned about addition how can you do the addition of three digit number four digit number or any bigger number with and without carry so in this class you will learn about the estimating sum so when some numbers are given first of all you have to round off each number to the nearest tens or nearest thousands or nearest hundreds so nearest to which value you have to estimate first of all you have to know that so which numbers will be given first of all you have to find out which number is smaller between that two number so amader je number gulo ke add korte bola thakbe shei number gulor modhe theke smaller number ta first amader find out korte hobe and then you have to find out what is the highest place of that smaller number she smaller number er highest place ta koto seta find out korte hobe hundreds or tens or ones or anything else so we will understand this using some example first of all you have to estimate this addition you have to estimate the sum of these two numbers 8463 plus 3745 so you know that this is the this is smaller than this number and the, this is a four digit number because this number has four digit so you know that any four digit number has highest place is Thousand. So you have to round off each number. You have to estimate both of this number to the nearest thousand because the smaller number in highest place is thousand. That's it. So our two number key first time we round off could be the nearest thousand. Okay. So in your previous class you have already learned how can you estimate. any number to the nearest thousands or nearest hundreds or nearest tens so first of all we will round up both of this number to the nearest thousand so rounding numbers are which numbers are given you have to find out the rounding rounding numbers that means you have to round up both of this number to the nearest thousand so 8463 This number to the nearest thousands rounds up to which number? So you have to round up this number to the nearest thousand. So first of all, you have to underline the thousand digit. So here thousand digit is eight, and after eight which comes? After eight, four comes. So this is less than five. So don't need to add one with the thousand digit. So, जेह तो thousands digital पड़े खाने को तो आचे four आचे ताले जो अखोना मधेर five थके और five पेर बड़ो थके then we need to add one with the given digit but here is less than five so don't need to add one with eight so eight will become same and four six three so after eight how many digit one two three so we need to place one two three three zero plus Three seven four five. So here the thousand digit is three, and now we need to look at the next digit. Here next digit is seven, which is greater than five. So we have to add one with three. So three become four, and after three how many digit? One two three. 
three digit. So we need to place how many zero? Three zero. And next, the estimated sum will be estimated sum. What will be the estimated sum? We have to add these two number. 0, 0, 0, 8 plus 4, 12. So, 12,000, this will be the answer. This is how you can find the estimated sum. Okay. So, let us try to do another example. Let us try to solve another example. Here the numbers are this. So, you have to, first of all, you have to round up each number to the nearest which place. Here the smaller number is this. And the highest place is 1000. So, you have to round up both of this number to the nearest thousand okay so the rounding numbers are first of all you have to find in find the rounding numbers so here the thousand digit is three and we have to look out the next digit here the next digit is eight which is greater than five so we have to add one with three so three will become four and after three how many digit one two three three digit so we have to place here three zero plus here this is seven so after seven is nine which is greater than five so do we do we need to add one with seven yes we need to add one with seven because this is greater than five when the next digit is greater than or equal to five we need to add one with the given digit but if that is less than five so don't need to add one with the given digit so here the given digit is 7 and after 7, 9. So this is greater than 5. So we need to add 1 with 7. 7 will become 8. After 7, how many digit? 1, 2, 3. So 3, 0 will come here. And the estimated sum will be. Estimated sum will be 12,000. Because 4,000 plus 8,000 become 12,000. So this is how you can find the estimated sum. And now we will solve some problems from your book. Which problems is given in your book? Look at here. Uh, all of you open page number 30 from your book. So in from this exercise I will solve some questions but you have to solve all the questions from this exercise. Okay. So all of you watch this video and try to understand. And after watching this video you will solve all the questions from this exercise. And if you have any doubt after watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me them. Okay. So all of you look at here. Complete the table. So here some numbers are given. You have to find the rounding numbers, estimated sum and also the actual sum. Actual sum means you can under, you can know how can you do the addition. So you have to find the addition. Actual sum then you can get and you have to also find the estimated sum. Just before you have learned how can you find the estimated sum. Okay. So, we will solve this question. Question number 1B. 7, 4, 5, 6 plus 7, 6, 5, 3, 2. Okay. So, first of all, we will find the estimated numbers. First of all, we will find the estimated numbers. So, what will be the estimated numbers? That means you have to round up both of this number to the nearest which place. By looking that you have to look at the smaller number. Here the smaller number is this. And what is the highest place of this smaller number? That is 1000. 1, 10, 100, 1000. So, the high, th highest place is 1000. And... You have to round up both of this number to the nearest thousands. That's why. So, first of all, you have to look at the last. You have to look the first digit. First digit is 7. And then, you have to look the next digit. This is 4. So, this is less than 5. So, you don't need to add 1 with 7. So, 7 will remain same. And after 7, how many digit? 1, 2, 3. So, 3 zeros will come. Plus. 
six five three two. So after six, this is a thousand digit. So after the thousand digit, you need to look at that that digit. Here that this digit is five. Which is equal to five, so we need to add one with six. Six will become seven. After six, how many digit? One, two, three. So three zero will come here, and the estimated sum. Estimated sum will be seven plus seven fourteen fourteen thousand. And now you have to find the actual sum. How can you find the actual sum? So. Vertically in column you have to arrange this number and then you have to find the sum seven four five six six five three two six plus two eight five plus three eight four plus five nine and seven plus six gives thirteen so thirteen thousand nine hundred eighty eight this is the actual sum. Okay, so this is how you you need to solve all the questions from this table. But I will solve another question that is question number one e. One e the question is nineteen six three two plus twenty six five eight nine. So first of all, you have to find the estimated numbers. Estimated numbers. So, first, for finding that, first of all, you have to find the smaller number. This is the smaller number, and the highest place is ten thousand. One, ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So the highest place is ten thousand. So first of all, you have to. Round up both of this number to the nearest ten thousand. Here the ten thousand digit is one, and next digit is nine, which is greater than five. So we need to add one with one. One will become two, and after one, how many digit? One, two, three, four. So four zero will come here plus. Here the ten thousand digit is two, and after two, what is your? You have to look at that digit. Here that is six. So six will. Which is greater than five, so we need to add one with two. Two will become three, and after two, how many digit? One, two, three, four. So four zero, and the estimated sum will be estimated sum. You have to add this two number two plus two five and fifty thousand. This will be the answer. And now you have to find the actual sum. How can you find the actual sum? All of you know how can you do the addition. You have to simply do the addition, okay? And in, first of all, you have to arrange this in column one nine six three two two six five eight nine. So two plus nine eleven three plus eight eleven plus one twelve six plus five eleven plus one twelve nine plus six fifteen plus one sixteen one plus two three plus one four. Four six two two one. This is the actual sum. Okay. So I hope all of you can do this addition. But if you cannot do any one, next question number two. A petrol pump sold this much liters of petrol in one in day one. This much liters of petrol in day two, and this much liters of petrol in day three. Estimate the total number of liters of petrol the pump sold in three days. So, you have to find the total number of petrols, total number of liters of petrol the pump sold in three days. So, in the first day, some quantity of petrol sold. Second day, some quantity of petrol sold, and the third day, some quantity of petrol sold. So you have to find the total number of liters of petrol the pump sold in three days. So that means petrol sold in day one. Petrol sold in day one. Three seven three zero. This much liters and petrols sold in day two. 
how much 2531 this much liter and petrol sold in third day 5368 this much liters so now you have to find the estimated sum estimated sum that means you have to round up both of these three numbers three of these numbers to the nearest thousand so here is three next digit is greater than five so three will become four and after three how many digit three digits so four three zero two will become three after two how many digit three digits so three zeros plus after 5, 3 which is less than 5. So don't need to add 5. 1 with 5. So 5 will remain same. And after 5 how many digit? 1, 2, 3. So 3, 0. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 5, 12. 12,000. This much liters is the estimated estimated number of liters of petrol that pump sold in 3 days. So this will be the answer. Okay. So after watching this video, you have to solve all the questions from this exercise. That is exercise 2.4 and from page number 30. So now if you have any queries or any doubts in this topic, you can ask me.